Just a pre-video warning here, if I sound like I'm extremely tired, that's because I am. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning after passing out very early, and seating didn't officially become announced until 1 o'clock in the morning over here. So, here we are. The 2024 NHL playoffs are finally here. Unfortunately, my team will not be in it, but it'll be fun watching from the sidelines because this bracket to me is actually very fun to predict. There's a lot of good matchups, and although we've seen some of them a handful of times already, I feel like they're very welcomed, but they're also very hard to predict, and this kind of had me weighing my options more than I thought. This video is going to be off script, completely authentic, going strictly off of what I know, and also kind of what I feel will happen. The NHL playoffs are never exactly what you think they're going to be, and I've learned this the hard way numerous times. I've only gotten the Stanley Cup winner correct once, and I feel like I kind of did it by brute force, because I picked the Avalanche after picking them the year prior and last year I picked the Dallas Stars so let's see if I can get it right this time and since we're already on the topic of the Western Conference we might as well start there. Instead of going round by round this time I'm gonna go conference by conference to make it more structured so let's start at the very top with the Dallas Stars taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. On paper this looks like an extremely scary matchup. I do feel like people are thinking it's gonna go a little bit closer than I imagine. Vegas has legitimately struggled at times this season. There was actually a time where it looked like they may not make the playoffs despite all of their acquisitions at the trade deadline. They got hot at the right time. They ended up winning in, obviously. But Dallas, to me, in the playoffs is just a completely different beast. I mean, I know firsthand from seeing Jake Ottinger play against the Calgary Flames. They are a scary, scary team when they get hot and they're consistently good i don't know i'm just not feeling vegas this year at times to me they've seen a little bit shaky i'm hesitant to really be confident in their abilities to go seven games with the dallas stars i have dallas actually in six games here i do still think it's very close i just think that dallas has a bit of an edge moving on to winnipeg colorado i've heard the same argument for this series and that being that oh goaltending is strictly going to come down to goaltending and i feel like that's an excuse you can use to justify any prediction is goaltending and don't get me wrong the, the stats don't lie i mean alex georgiev this season i believe has given up four plus goals and 40 percent of his games this year which is not a good stat to have when you're talking about a series like this but Connor Hellebuck has been extremely hot actually probably the best goaltender in the league to me I think it boils down to a little bit more than goaltending the avalanche have legitimately struggled against winnipeg this year i also have really liked what winnipeg has built this year the acquisitions they've made at the trade deadline throughout the season getting sean monahan getting tyler Toffoli, continuing to add to that forward core that pld trade where they got all those assets back paid off beautifully for them i'm picking winnipeg in seven games i do think if winnipeg does go on a deep run here this will most likely be their hardest matchup because the Avalanche are always going to be a scary team. They're always going to keep the series closed. It's Nathan McKinnon. It's Miko Rantanen. It's Kale McCarr. They have that star power. They're always going to keep you on your toes. Moving on down to Vancouver, Nashville. This is probably the series I had the hardest time predicting, as crazy as that sounds. Because you always want that one upset on the bracket. And I feel like so many people are saying, oh, Nashville's a dark horse. Nashville's a dark horse. And I was, I was buying into that. I really 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 wanted to pick nashville and I, I the more i think about it it's a fun pick to make i just don't know if it'll actually happen and as much as i'd love to pick them here i feel like i have bigger shock picks later in my bracket that i could still pick vancouver to win this series here this is still going to be a very close series though i'm going to go vancouver in six not gonna say seven this is such a great goalie matchup by the way demko and sorrows you want to talk about goaltending playing a factor in any series is definitely going to play a role here for me and we'll get to this later i feel like this series is also one of the most important which is a very weird thing to say but you, you'll see what i mean when i when i go on here i'll mention it later on but our final series for the third straight year is Edmonton LA I don't know I just feel like this is such a random matchup that we get every year it's not a bad thing I mean they match up very well against each other they're gonna do the same this series Cam Talbot actually faces his former team in Edmonton Cam Talbot kind of 
kind of came out of nowhere, I'm not gonna lie. This season really shocked me seeing just how good Talbot was, but LA has had their struggles this year. I'm still not confident in LA's ability to come out of this series. I feel like they do lose for the third year in a row. I'm going to pick Edmonton in six games, not going to go five. Confidence that LA will make this a very close series. They kept Edmonton on their toes actually last year as well. I think there was a time where it looked like LA could actually win the series. Correct me if I'm wrong. Moving on to the second round, three of the four teams are Canadian teams. Just wanted to point that out. We're going to start back Back at the top with now Dallas and Winnipeg. And as you go deeper into the bracket, it gets a little bit more challenging to predict. Dallas-Winnipeg would be a very fun series. I would sit down and watch every game of this series. High flying offenses, the defense will be amazing to watch. Dallas is an extremely pesky team. I feel like they'll do a very good job at slowing down any team that they face. But there's always that one team every year that I just have a, a feeling will go very far and I'm putting all of my eggs in Winnipeg's basket this year. I'm fully invested and I'm confident in their abilities they're going to make a deep run. Winnipeg has just had it going all year round and a lot more people I feel like would pick Dallas here. I'm going to go the opposite route. See, I wanted to go seven. I don't, I don't know. Let's go, let's go six. Winnipeg in six games because not every game can go to seven games. I feel like Picking seven games is just a safety net for any close series. Let's go ahead and pick Winnipeg in six. And moving on down now to Vancouver versus Edmonton. Again, really wanted to pick Nashville here, but I did say that the Vancouver-Nashville series was important, and because I really feel like the winner of that series is ultimately the team that will make the Western Conference final. I will pick Vancouver to win this series against Edmonton. You know, let's also go in six games. I I'm not going to pick seven for every series. I do feel like goaltending can also play an argument in this particular series. Demko versus, I believe, Stuart Skinner is going to get the start here. The thing that I did see, though, is, you know, Thatcher Demko hasn't had much playoff experience. His Vancouver team in particular doesn't have much playoff experience. As you look at the other hand, McDavid and the team has been here before. But I'm going to stick with my, my gut. I just have a feeling the winner of Vancouver and Nashville makes the Western Conference final. So that's what I'm going to ultimately go off of. And I'm not knocking Edmonton by any means. Listen, I got to give Edmonton, Connor McDavid, especially his flowers, tremendous year this season. We have Winnipeg versus Vancouver in the Western Conference final. If you were to ask me to maybe make my predictions two days ago, I don't think this would be the same outcome because the NHL playoffs, again, never really go the way you think they're going to go. It's probably going to end up looking like something none of us predicted at all. So I feel like Winnipeg, Vancouver, is not an out there pick but if this was the scenario i think i'm gonna actually give it to winnipeg again i'm gonna pick winnipeg to go to this year's stanley cup final they're gonna make that push all the way listen i think you look at both teams paths to get here and winnipeg up to this point would have had to really buckle down and play that hard nose game to get past these teams they had to play arguably the the tougher schedule the tougher road to get here they had to get past the avalanche they had to get past the dallas stars I feel like the central division is going to be such a bloodbath that side particular of the bracket is going to be a, a slaughterhouse and whoever comes out of that i feel like will just already be more in that lockdown mode that that momentum that you gain by playing that way will just push them over the edge it's kind of like when you get an adrenaline rush and again i'm not knocking vancouver they they have a amazing team but winnipeg is my pick to come out of the western conference let's see who will be joining winnipeg as we now transition to the eastern conference and going all the way back to round one one, we have the New York Rangers and the Washington Capitals. I mean, it, it's kind of hard. You can easily say the Rangers can sweep. I don't like saying that a team has no shot to win because then they're going to turn around and, you know, they're going to come back and win. Everybody said that about Columbus and look what happened to them. So anybody can win a playoff series. I'm not knocking Washington at all. And I feel like Capitals fans are so tired of hearing this. Uh, a minus 37 goal differential. Uh, may I remind you, that's the worst goal differential a team's ever had making the playoffs since 1990 when the Hartford Whalers got in with a minus 38 and before the last game of the season they actually had a minus 38 goal differential so take that as you will I'm picking the Rangers here absolutely no disrespect to Washington I'm not gonna pick four I feel like that's disrespectful I'm gonna pick the Rangers in five games to win this series and moving on down to a series we've seen before is the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders to me the Hurricanes for years I haven't really been confident in picking them 
I've always felt like it was kind of a, yeah, they're a good team, but this or yeah they're a good team but you can argue this is they could do better in this category and i feel like this season is a little bit different i feel like the islanders are one of those teams like nashville that, that can honestly come out as a dark horse not a lot of teams are talking about the islanders so for that reason alone i am going to say carolina in six but let's go to florida tampa third time is the charm i think they're one and one actually i feel like the winner of the series goes to the stanley cup final it has a lot more meaning than people think and this is so hard for me because the panthers are such a good team and they made it all the way last year i'm such such a fan of kachuk Chuck's my guy. My gut's just telling me to pick Tampa Bay. I mean, it's Tampa in the playoffs. I've seen it too many times, and yes, they did go out extremely early last year, but it's, that just felt like it was Toronto's time to exercise those demons and get to the second round. Kucherov's been so, so good. Nikita Kucherov's been incredible. Vasilevsky's kind of been hit or miss this year. It's it's, it's weird seeing Vasilevsky kind of struggle at times, but I do feel like once it comes down to the playoffs, he should get more locked in. This is such a hard series to predict. I'm not going to go into the team by team comparisons. This is just strictly going off of vibes. I'm going to pick Tampa Bay in seven games. It's not even for safety cushion reasons. I generally feel like this series will go down to the wire. And then we're going to move down to Boston, Toronto again. Toronto, I know you're so sick of hearing this. It's I feel so bad for the fans, but I, I don't think they're going to win. I'm going to pick Boston in seven. The Atlantic Division is this side of the bracket. Is kind of like the central division absolute war on this side of the bracket you get honestly any four of these teams you could pick they're the right pick in my opinion i don't think there's a team you could pick on this side of the bracket where people go really like that team and so moving on to the second round now we have the rangers and the hurricanes i'm gonna i'm gonna pick carolina in six games carolina's core I mentioned talking about them in the Islanders series, extremely fun to watch. Jake Gensel has been a huge addition to that team. And I feel like all around, they are a well-built team. I honestly can't look at Carolina and say, yeah, you know what, they could struggle in, in this area or they could struggle in this area. Uh, they're well-constructed. I feel like they've been so, so used to being let down towards the very end. I don't think that's going to happen this time around. I think Carolina is going to go deep. I'm going to pick them over the New York Rangers in six games. And then moving on down to Tampa, Boston. I had such a hard time predicting this one. I'm going to be completely honest. If this was going to be the first round matchup, I would have had an even harder time predicting this one. But I'm still going to give the edge to Tampa Bay. I'm not going to pick every series be extremely close. You know, let's go Tampa in five. I've, one of these has to go to five. I want to pick Tampa over Boston in five games. I'm just more confident in Tampa's ability. And I've, we've seen it so many times before. I know that's such a weird way of predicting a team to go very far as, oh, we've seen them do this before. I know that sounds so crazy, but I want to pick Tampa Bay in five games, meaning our Eastern Conference conference final is the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. I, I'm going to give, when looking at these two in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, I feel like although Tampa has the experience, I feel like I've used Tampa's experience as a way to get them here. I ultimately feel like, you know, Carolina, they've lost, I believe, three straight Eastern Conference finals where they didn't win a single game. And I think that's finally going to change. They're going to win one, two, three, four games. They're going to go to the Stanley Cup final. I'm picking the Carolina Hurricanes. I feel like they're going to be such a high energy, fast, electric team. I have such high hopes in this team. I truly believe this is the year they get past and exercise those demons in the Eastern Conference final. I'm going to pick Carolina in seven to advance to the Stanley Cup final, meaning our Stanley Cup final is the Winnipeg Jets versus the Carolina Hurricanes and this would be such a fun series high flying offenses from both sides you get a goaltending matchup of Freddie Anderson and Connor Hellebach that defense of Carolina is so so good you match that up against Winnipeg man this is such a good series I, on paper this is such a fun series at the beginning of the season I tweeted out I believe that this is the year where a Canadian team can hoist the Stanley Cup. I also mentioned I have all of my eggs in Winnipeg's basket. I'm going to ride that train all the way down its tracks, and I'm going to take the Winnipeg Jets to win the Stanley Cup, and I'm going to say six games. I have been a believer in this Jets team all year. I feel like they've been very scary. I have full faith in this Jets team I feel very confident in this pick. Jets in six. They are going to win the Stanley Cup.
at the end of the day, they're just predictions. It's something fun to do. There's always gotta be a couple upsets. Always gotta be a couple a couple picks where you're like, really them? So I feel like this bracket's probably my favorite one I've done because I don't feel like I went too outlandish, and that's just me. You can completely disagree, and that's totally fine. That's what's so much fun about making these playoff prediction videos. Anything can happen. You can't predict the unpredictable. There's gonna be teams that come out of nowhere. There's gonna be teams that surprise people. There's gonna be obvious teams that win. There's gonna be teams that are gonna upset. And I'm so excited to see your guys' picks. I'm gonna open up a bracket challenge. As always, it's gonna be pinned down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Are these the best picks in the world? Are these the worst picks in the world? Let's have some fun. But that will do it. The Jets are my pick to win it all thank you guys so much for the support this year it's meant so much to me i want to get so many more videos out for you guys i have so much ideas if you have any ideas also feel free to comment them as well but thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video